Hey my friends, what is good? Derek here from Bomb Socks with another day of Bomb Bites where we feast upon the words of Christ and as always we do it one bite at a time. Uh, so yesterday I introduced you to Abraham and showed you how Abraham desired greater righteousness and desired the blessings of the fathers. He desired the those that connection with God that Adam had, that Enoch had, that Noah had. And so he desired those things. And so with that in mind, I wanna take you to a little thing in the Come Follow Me called Thoughts to Keep in Mind. And this part is uh, about the covenant. It's actually, if you're looking for it in the Come Follow Me manual, it's just right before this week's study. It's a great little article. It's not too long. And I just wanna focus on one little part of it today as we're getting ready to approach and talk about the covenant that God made with Abraham because of his desires. Well, this little uh, thoughts to keep in mind about the covenant, there's a paragraph here that says, what is the Abrahamic covenant? I think it goes nicely with what we talked about yesterday. So Abraham wanted to be a greater follower of righteousness. You remember the crazy atmosphere that he was raised in? He realized, I do not want to be a part of this. I don't like being sacrificed and I don't like the, the culture that I'm in. So God invited him into a covenant relationship. Abraham wasn't the first to have this desire, as I was mentioning earlier. And he wasn't the first to receive the covenant. He sought for the blessings of the fathers. Blessings that were offered by covenant to Adam and Eve, and thereafter to those who sought these blessings diligently. You see similar things with Enoch. You see similar things with Noah as well. God's covenant with Abraham promised wonderful blessings, an inheritance of land, a large posterity, access to priesthood ordinances, and a name that would be honored for generations to come. But the focus of this covenant was not just on the blessings Abraham and his family would receive, but also on the blessing that they would be to the rest of God's children. Thou shalt be a blessing, it says in Genesis chapter 12, God declared, and in thee shall all families of the earth be blessed. Now, God gave this covenant to Abraham, Sarah, and their descendants. So all families of the earth, that includes yours. This, that's a high percentage of families. It's everybody through this covenant. And this is why covenants are so crucial to God's plan. That's why the church is such an important thing because it is a vehicle for us to be able to make and keep sacred covenants. And it's really the thing that sets us apart from other churches. I've really, I've really thought about that and it's the covenants and the ordinances. Any church will teach you how to be a good human, but the covenants, that's a key element to this. And the church that we belong to is the vehicle to help us make and keep those covenants with God. So did this covenant give Abraham, Sarah, and their descendants a privileged status among God's children? only in the sense that it is a privilege to bless others. I love that statement. The family of Abraham were to bear this ministry and priesthood unto all nations, sharing the blessings of the gospel, which are the blessings of salvation, even of life eternal. So this last little paragraph here, it says, this covenant was the blessing Abraham was longing for. After receiving it, Abraham said in his heart, thy servant has sought thee earnestly, and now I have found thee. So the cool thing about this, is now it talks about what the responsibility is of Abraham's seed, right? If through his seed, all the families of the earth are going to be blessed, then that is where our responsibilities come in. Tomorrow's episode, I want to focus on what it really means to be a member of Abraham's family, to be Abraham's seed, because there's a great responsibility that we have for that. Hey, thanks for watching these messages. Thanks for sharing them. Thanks for subscribing. We love that. Go check out our amazing gospel theme socks at bombsocks.com, and you guys have a great day. Godspeed, and we will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.